Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. My name is Manuel and today we are going to keep working uh, with MLflow. Um, so specifically, we are going to explore a powerful feature of MLflow, which is a model signature. So what is a model signature? A model signature is an object that allows us to specify the data type and the data shape of the data that the model can work with. So this is very important because in the world of machine learning, we want to understand the type of data that we can use to fit the model, um, the kind of output that the model provides, as well as additional, as well as provide providing additional uh, parameters that the model or the machine learning systems may need. So let me walk you to the code that I have written to showcase this functionality. So here we are. Uh, in our Visual Studio Code environment. And as you can see here, we are using mainly um, this module from MLflow uh, schema, mlflow.types schema, from which we are importing model signature, schema, parent schema, parent specification, and column specification. So these classes uh, are going to help me to build my model signature. Now I have, let's say, additional modules or classes that are packages that I am uh, important because I need, let's say, additional help to build a domain data. I have this function called get range data, which basically is creating a, a domain data set. So I am basically using this make classification class, which provides a classification data set, basically. Um, then let me walk you to the code. The first thing that I am doing here is getting the data using that function that I just mentioned. So get train data will give me two data frames, edge train and white train. So let me print out this edge train um, data set. And as you can see here, it's a, let's say, normal data frame with numerical data. Um, the name of the columns are from feature one to feature 20. Now, uh, let me show you another piece of code. So here I am first creating a list called calls specification. And this is because if I want to create a schema using uh, this class schema, I had to provide, let me show you, schema equals to schema. So it requires inputs, the list of call column specification. So a schema is represented as a list of call spec or tensor spec. In this case, we're going to deal only with column specification. So for the reason, uh, column specification will be a list of objects that represent every column. Now I have this dictionary data map, uh, which is basically going to translate the data types that I have in my pandas data frame into the string the schema of MLflow accepts. So now here, what I am doing is basically that. Um, first, I am using a dictionary. Let me try to execute this to show you what we are we are using here. Let me run this code. So basically, we are using um, the training data set we are transforming that into a dictionary and then iterating over that dictionary. So we have the name of the feature and the data type. Uh, notice here that the data type is float64. Um, we are translating that into double. Now let's create our column specification list. This is the column specification list. Um, for every, in, so in the end, I'm going to have as an item of my list, a column specification list in which I have the name, the name of the feature of the column and the data type. Now let me print out what is called specification. So call specification is basically a list. Um, in each item I have, a, well, the name of the feature and the data type. Now I have to create an input schema in this way, right? Using the class schema. And 
I am passing as a parameter uh, the, the list of columns, right? Then I have to do something similar for the output schema. In this case, uh, since we only have uh, a single output, uh, the label uh, the label column, I did that without a for loop. I just specify the name of the column and the data type. Now, we also need the parameters that the model or the machine learning system may need, right? And to do so, we need those two classes mainly. Um, we need to use parent specification and parent schema. Now, parent schema is the class that will give me the, um, the schema for all the parameters. And it accesses a list of parameters. As you can see here in the documentation, uh, it accesses a list of uh, parameters. In this case, since we are using only a parameter, model name, right? And type string, and the default is model one, uh, I am passing only the variable. So let me show you how the, the parent schema looks like. Let's do it. If I print out this, I will have something like this. Have basically a list, name, model name, uh, data type, string, and default model one. Shape, no, not defined. So, okay, now we have input schema, output schema, and parent schema. Let's print out everything. So we can have a look. Okay, so we have the output schema, label and integer. We have the input schema, uh, which defines the name of each one of the columns and the data type. And finally, the parent or parameter schema, um, which define the name of the parameter and the data type. So now that we have all this, uh, let's create the model signature. Let's create the model signature using the model signature class. And we are going to provide as an input the input schema, outputs the output schema, and finally, um, parents the parent schema. And let's you see how this looks like. Okay, model signature. We have a dictionary with inputs. Um, we've probably parents here, right? Parents and outputs. So um, now let me show you how we, how we can create this in a let's say easy manner. I'm going to import another class from model signature so from mlflow.models.signature import infer signature so using the class i can do something like this model signature equals to infer schema and i have to provide the training data in addition to that i can pass a uh, parents so let's say that i have you know a parameter a parameter that looks like this model name and the name of the model so let's print out this uh, model signature and let's comment this only just to make sure that we are seeing uh, what we are interested in so let me execute this code and we have exactly the same thing um well i already showed you the two ways we can use the long way, right? Or we can just use uh, infer signature. I would say that it's the most, um, the more convenient, let's say, method. Now let's let's see how this looks like in the MLflow UI. Let's create an experiment, and this experiment is going to be called model signature. And let's create a run model signature run. Yes, exactly. And I need a model. Let's look, let's do something very simple, something like run scikit-ensemble uh, or let's say random forest classifier. So here I am going to lock a dummy model. I lock model is k model equals to random forest classifier, right? And artifact path, let's say uh, model signature and signature and this is the most important part in signature we are going to pass our model signature 
So now let's run this. Uh, let me just use this a little bit. Um, let's let me run this. Awesome. Okay, now let's go to the MLflow UI. Let's go to the browser. And here we have model signature. Let's go to this experiment. We have this run. Let's open this. And here on the ML model, we can see the, the signature key, right? So we have the inputs, um, the name and the data type, as well as the outputs and the parameters. So this is very important, especially because let's say usually we are working across different, uh, let's say workspaces, or maybe we need to import the model. Um, we need to know what type of data the model receives as an input, and what is the output that it provides. Um, in another video, I'm going to show you how we can use um, these parameters to choose between different models in a machine learning system that can let's say, get predictions from different models at the same time. So, well, that's everything for this video. Uh, thank you for watching it, and see you next time.